Hey there guys and welcome back to Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction. In the last part, we saved Cooper in Tokyo, but at the cost of one of the pieces of the POTUS Altiari. But I could use my powers to help you fight! Good, because now that you made Tennyson blow his only chance of an ancient Galvin power-up, we're gonna need your help. And more. Get back to Bellwood fast and round up all the plumber's helpers you can find to defend the Earth. This is not a drill! How am I supposed to get there? Gwen? I can't do it just any old time we need to teleport somewhere. It takes too much out of me. But this is an emergency. Maven Avery! <laughs> what are you trying to say? Rain it in, Romeo. That's a little harsh. <laughs> he almost lost his lips. Yeah? He's gonna lose more than that if he ever tries that move again. Wow, somebody's jealous. Of <laughs> Cooper? <sighs> Give it a rest, guys. Greetings, uh, wondrous, ancient Galvin! Welcome to our Earth! Uh, I don't think they're alive, then. They're just holograms. Maybe. No way to tell. Huh? Oh. <laughs> they're trying to take the Ultimatrix! Don't give it to them, Ben! <laughs> Yes, I destroyed one of the pieces of your device to save my friend. You don't have to rub it in. Now I know where Azimuth gets it from. Hmm. You really think the ancient Galvin came all the way here just to give you a hard time? Azimuth does. No, Azimuth only shows up when it's something very important. And to give Ben a hard time. You think the ancient Galvin were trying to tell me something important? Bingo. But if you're still missing a piece, what good is it gonna do you to find the rest of them? You wanna argue with the ancient Galvin? Come on. So I guess all is not lost, and we're going to South America now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Recommended aliens, amphibian, big chill, and echo echo. And Humongosaur is a pretty good fourth guy, but I really need to upgrade Echo Echo because I have not done that at all. Maybe it's because I've only used him in one level so far, and that was the first one. And... Yep, so we're good to go. And I'm guessing that, based on the loading screen and the fact that Echo Echo is pretty much a required alien, that we're going to be using Ultimate Echo Echo in this level. Looks like you're going to have to find another way in. Okay, so you can't land and drop me off. Well, good thing I can fly. Or glide. Oh, crap. Okay, apparently there's some sort of huge military base with laser cannons and stuff in the South American jungle. That's pretty weird. Oh, well, get off me, robot. It's good to see Siphon's robots are still around. Thought we got rid of all of those. And a really weird and antiquated looking security camera that is I mean modern day security cameras are not that ginormous and of course they got shield robots too only a matter of time before they showed up oh well it's nothing this can't deal with power. Use oh amphibian okay amphibian it pad it's gonna be one of those missions again have to charge up a lot of stuff Kinda of weird how they came up with this level though, I mean, you got Paris, Rome, Tokyo, the Great Wall of China, and a military base in South America, I mean, is there even one there? Why can't I reach the freaking camera? Anyway, here it will be proven what I've been saying before, how you're not required to use swamp fire to blow up those things, because Amphibian can do it as well somehow. 
Apparently an electric spark sets off a gas explosion just as well as fire does. Alright, glide. Sniper. Oh crap. Jeez. That sniper's got good aim. I got really lucky there. And of course there's always more robots. How do they even, like, where are all the soldiers? If this is a military base, shouldn't there be a whole lot of soldiers around? Smash that. And Big Chill just seems to have a whole lot of trouble smashing stuff. He just keeps punching over it. He's got hitbox issues, I'm guessing. And get rid of the sniper for almost killing me, you son of a bitch. Alright, get a move on. Go into Echo Echo, I haven't used him yet. Because he's so adorable. And so tiny. And yet he has no problems kicking just as much ass as all the other aliens. Even though I'm pretty sure that in the cartoon Echo Echo has never ever been used for like a fist fight or something. Okay. Uh, we need to hold the door. So create a copy. Copy can hold the door. And I can go. And what happens to the copy? Don't know, don't care. Alright, light this up. I think those doors would be sturdy enough to handle a little explosion like that. I mean, it's a freaking military base. It's a pretty important military target, I'm guessing. Of course, it's gonna get attacked with explosive weaponry eventually, so you'd think everything be explosion proof. But new. No. Ah, crap, another sniper. Except this one does not seem to have as good an aim as the previous one. And what do we have down here? Another landing pad. Is this like a secret room or is this actually the way we're supposed to be going? Oh well. What do we have here? Fire. And of course... Oh. Okay, I guess we do need to go here. No need to use water hazard, because ice is apparently better at dealing with fire than water is. Uh, I really don't think I want to be here. It looks kind of dangerous in between all these giant burners. One hell of a security system they got here. Alright, charge this up. What's it do? Okay, it fries the burners. That's nice. And just swim through the air, blow up more vault doors. And another security camera. Must smash camera. I don't like Big Brother. Although I did like uh, 1984 when I read it. It's a pretty good book. Would recommend that to... Oh crap. Yeah, that sucks. Couldn't make it back onto the platform, so just drop down and die. And... Okay, don't get put back too far. No. I might be able to make it. Yeah, I got this. Freaking snipers, man. They're lethal. Alright, smack that. And the camera. No spying on me. Need to keep my secret identity. Even though it's not really secret anymore in Ultimate Alien. And... Huh. Did I just push him out the window? That's kind of cruel. I mean, I was going to fall to his death in the freaking canyon below just like I did because of him. Karma. It's a bitch. And why did I press pause? Slip of the finger? Don't know. Don't care. Moving on. Does South America even have this many canyons? I thought it was just rainforest. And the big ass Amazon River. If they have uh, dignity. Do robots have dignity? I'm pretty sure they don't, because dignity is kind of an emotional thing, and robots tend to not have that. And get rid of your shield and smash you. Stupid rope. Ah, oh, crap, there's another one. Okay, you die just like all the other ones. Kind of annoying when fighting around these breakable objects, though, because sometimes the lock-on that's going on with the fighting will lock onto those things instead of the enemies. Ooh, a big bridge. That's nice. What do we do with it? I saw an amphibian pad over there somewhere. Um, I'm guessing I jump over here? Or if we're exploring. 
So yeah, this room is not as linear as the remainder of the game is. I mean, I still think that would make a pretty damn sweet game. Just kind of Ben 10 meets Grand Theft Auto when you can transform into, like, all the aliens he has in the show as opposed to a mere 10. And just maybe wreck the environment a little. I think that would be a pretty damn sweet game. I don't know why it's not being made. I mean, pretty sure Ben 10 is Cartoon Network's best-selling franchise right now. I don't think... I can't think of any other franchise that they have that would even rival Ben 10 in, like, merchandise sales and stuff. I mean, there is a reason it's been going on for seven years and counting, because there's a fourth Ben 10 series coming up later this year. Although, that one doesn't look too promising in my opinion. It looks like that horrible, horrible Transformers cartoon, where the characters are like really shittily drawn and it just looks awful. And now Ben 10 is being drawn the same way. And that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, so this is a pretty tricky puzzle. Need to lower the bridge, get an Echo Echo clone on that switch there, and then get my ass over to the other side before the bridge goes up again. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh! Really cutting it close there. Alright, hold the thingies. Oh, hey, there's a collectible up there. Hmm, do I want to go and get that one? I might have a hunch on how to get over there. Oh, amphibian pad. Okay, what's that gonna do? But first, get the collectible. Because I'm pretty sure it's the only one I still need in this level. And that'll get me another trophy. I'm such a trophy whore these days. Well, if the trophy's not that hard to get, I might go out of my way to get it. But others... Like, um... For Dead Rising 2, off the record, I've been playing that again lately. One of the trophies has you, like the first survivor you run into, you have to keep him, or her, I think it's a her, keep her with you the entire game and have her attack the final boss. Now, that's a trophy I'm not going to get, because that is just too much, just too much effort, it's just amazing. Like... How are you even supposed to get that? That is a hard-ass trophy. Anyway, fry the thingies, and the water level drops. Oh, this place make a pretty kick-ass skate park. Tony Hawk could go apeshit in here. You know, I've personally never set foot on a skateboard. Simply because I doubt I'd be good at it, and I really don't want to risk any self-injury. I mean, my nephew still need to get used to the freaking terminology. Like, I, you guys told me that I can't use cousin to refer to the son of my uncle. So, okay, nephew it is then. My nephew was riding on this wave board. It's like a skateboard with only two wheels, and you kind of need to slalom to stay upright on it. And I don't know, I think it was walking his dog while on that thing and the dog pulled him off of it or something and he broke his arm and now he has an iron bar where some of his arm bones used to be. Pretty freaking hilarious. Anyway, it's time for ultimate Echo Echo. Basically, he stops being a midget, he turns blue, looks more like a robot, and instead of being able to clone himself, he has all these discs on his body that he can just let loose and wreak havoc on things and emit his sound blasts through those. And he can also hover and fly. So yeah, he's pretty freaking useful. I think he may actually be the most improved ultimate alien from the original. I mean, he can do so much more that Echo Echo just can't. And all the other ones basically do the same as their regular forms, but slightly more like Ultimate Kamongosaur's got the missiles. But that's basically it. Ultimate Swamp Fire doesn't really have anything new. Neither does Spider Monkey. Big Chill's basically just the same with a different color. And Ultimate Cannon Bolt is exactly the same, except he's got spikes in his blue. 
So yeah, Ultimate Echo Echo is the most original Ultimate form. And probably my favorite one of the bunch as well, because he's pretty badass in the show as well. I think he was the only Ultimate Alien that actually beat Kevin when he turned evil in the show. Even though he didn't debut in Ultimate Alien until like episode 11 or something. And by that time all of the other Ultimate Aliens had been used like at least twice. And everyone was like, where the hell is Ultimate Echo Echo? And then we finally got Ultimate Echo Echo. It took him long enough. Although I don't like his voice in this game. I don't know why, but they kind of screwed up the voice actor for Ultimate Echo Echo for this one. In the show he sounds much more like a robot and here he kind of sounds like... Just a regular guy, kind of. And I don't know what went wrong, I mean, they used the same voice actor as they used in the show for all the aliens in this game, so I guess he just didn't do the voice right. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode of Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Cosmic Disruption. Bye-bye.